Hey everyone, just got back from a run along Deal Beach with my bud Russ, I've um, just done 5k and it's been nice this morning actually, it's a pretty, pretty fresh day, I hope you're having a great week. But in this episode, I'm going to be sharing with you how this book has allowed me to become a racing driver. Welcome back guys, I'm so happy to see you again. Thank you for joining me for another episode on my vlog. It's been such an incredible journey um, to be doing this vlog and I'm so grateful for your support in keeping following this and, and I hope you're enjoying it. We've had such a mad couple of weeks, like I've been so, so busy um, with various meetings, things that I'm planning for Toby Trice Racing, which has been awesome, working with my sponsors of different strategies we've got coming out over the coming months and into 2021. So there's some really cool stuff happening, but it's really nice just to actually do these vlogs. I'm quite enjoying them because it's a chance for me to switch my phone off, um, join you guys for a chat about what I've been up to and just get away from social media and, and all the chaos of following up of emails and all that kind of stuff. So I'm really enjoying it. It's quite a nice relax. Um, yeah, it's quite a nice relaxed thing to be to be doing. So thanks for joining again. I'm just gonna make a quick brew. In this episode, I wanna to talk to you about the business side because it's something that's quite unspoken about, particularly if you're a racing fan or driver yourself or someone that's aspiring to race, then motorsport sponsorship seems quite a daunting thing. But I've got some secret tips for you guys in this episode that will help you learn about sponsorship and understand what racing drivers have to do to actually get to track. But there's so much more to it. You know, there's those, there's a huge business side to motorsport and there's so much that's, that happens behind the scenes to actually get us on track. Now, most of the drivers that perhaps are watching this will understand that kind of um, aspect of being a racing driver, but many, many people don't. And my journey has been really interesting because I've, I've not come from traditional backgrounds of, of how people get into motorsport. So, I want to share with you the kind of step by steps and this episode is going to be kind of like a run through of that like kind of the basics and as weeks months and hopefully years go on I can kind of delve into a bit more about that and show you the kind of the behind the scenes maybe some meetings that I have with sponsors and some of the strategies we work towards and the business plan that kind of goes in place so I'd love to share that with you guys but yeah this is just going to be the little secret um, that got me the drive and allowed me to offer value to sponsors so Check out this mug. It's one of Katie's favourite mugs. And it says, all you need is your dog. <laughs> um, we obviously got, we obviously got dogs when we, uh, well, we got, we got Cody um, when we started fertility treatment and he's been our kind of like emotional blanket where like, yeah, he's just been there to support us, bless him. I don't think he realises just how helpful he's been. But it's been proper sweet having having Cody by us and yeah, like he's he's a bit of a dude, I'm not gonna lie. My kettle's boiled. My kettle's boiled. Hot water. Yeah, our dogs are a huge part of our lives and they're super cool. Like I've been on a run this morning with my bud Russ. Um just a nice little 5k early morning run. But straight after, got out of the dogs and just watching them play like properly excites me. They're so they're so cool. They're so much fun to be around. Um, hit the like on this video if, uh, or, or let me know in the comments if you've got a dog. I'd love to know what dog you've got and what their names are. If you can, I don't know if you can post a picture or not. But um, DM me, DM me. I'd love to. I love seeing dogs. So yeah, let us know what your what your dogs are like. They're all good fun. Anyway, little poll. How strong do you like your tea? Katie likes hers really weak and milky. Um, I kind of go for this kind of shade. That's the shade of tea for me. I'm a, I'm a bit of a fan of a cup of tea. Maybe I should actually work with a tea brand because I think that would suit me the most. Anyway, let's level you up and let's get back to this week's episode. Yeah, so 
So about this week then, let's get into the kind of cool part of this week. Once I got given the keys to the Ginetta, I had to find a way to raise a budget to actually race it because obviously motorsport is very expensive. Um, you have to account for things like damage because obviously if you crash a car, it is quite pricey. Um, tires, fuel, the team, traveling up and down the country. There's, there's a whole host of things on there um, along with like the hospitality. Before all this kind of happened, before I understood how the business side of motorsport works, I was one of these people that thought motorsport sponsorship was companies back to driver because they wanted their sticker on the car and they just wanted to kind of just get behind a driver. And that's what I used to think sponsorship was, but it never really sat well with me because like people that help me out, I want to help them out equally as much. I kind of always want to return what I'm, I believe in giving, right? I kind of always want to look at how I can help someone out. And I think that good karma comes back to me in, in other forms and taking money from someone or a business to go racing just didn't seem right. So I wanted to delve into exactly how you can make sponsorship work for you and, and, and understand sponsorship. So I'm a big believer in investing in yourself. So I tend to look for courses, books, I read a lot. I always try to, you know, even just Google, we've got so much on, you know, at our fingertips now, even YouTube, you know, this this place itself is fantastic for actually finding that information. So I did some research and there was a lady called Jess Shanahan that, um, that kept popping up. Her business is called Racing Mentor and her website kept popping up and Time and time again, I was reading her blog and was kind of understanding some of the basic principles of motorsport. And, and I was like, okay, this, this starts make, making sense. I understood that Jess was gonna be at Autosport um, up in Birmingham at the NEC in January. So this was like January, 2019. I thought, okay, let's go meet Jess. I'd love to meet her because she sounds really inspiring. She's clearly trying to help drivers get on track with her business model. Yeah, let's, let's go meet her. And shortly before Autosport, I bought this book and this book was super super incredible because it gave me almost like an a to z about sponsorship it gave me from the very beginning of how to become a racing driver in terms of like your branding and and understanding you as a person and what you can offer to then looking at like how you can research companies how you can offer value and how you can actually land yourself a sponsorship deal this is the book that i picked up it's called get paid to race and it's absolutely fantastic. Like if you're an aspiring racing driver out there, or even if you're actually just a business owner, there's so much business related stuff in here that you can learn that will enhance your business. And I treated this as, as, a, as a business right from the start, is that I was looking at a way to, to monetize this, this plan I had, so that I can make sure that everyone involved benefits from it, like a business does. I think I read it in like, a week, maybe two weeks, that's pretty good for me. I'm usually like kind of a month over a book, but I was so engaged with it. Like I was so on board with the message that's in this book and Get Paid to Race genuinely has been the secret and the key to allow me to actually become a racing driver. The The video intro may look a bit, or the, the thumbnail may, may look a bit clickbaity, but this book genuinely has been my, my key to success and I still read it now you know if there's something that I'm not quite sure of if I just want a bit of recap and revision of stuff I go back to this book. I met Jess at Autosport and after reading her book and it was really great to meet her it was so cool to sort of like meet the author of the book it's something I've never done before and we got talking at Autosport about motorsport sponsorship and my dream to drive and the fact that I've just got keys to a Ginetta but you know I was really at the early stages of of where to begin. And it leads me on to something that we did that day was that I signed up to one of her courses called Six Weeks to Success. The whole idea behind the course is to, to, bring, a, you know, to bring a driver from almost no knowledge, perhaps some after reading the book, to at the end of the six weeks, having a successful sponsorship package put together. So I was like, oh, that's a cool challenge. Like, sign me up. So I signed up with Jess straight away. It was just a few weeks later that we actually started the course. I think it was like, I think it was like February, I think it was mid-February, maybe March time that we started this course, um, along with four other people. And I saw it as a, like a massive challenge. I was like, right, six weeks, I'm gonna become a racing driver. Six weeks time, I'm gonna get all my sponsorship. This is gonna happen because I really wanna do this for the charity and my cause. And that determination has been through this the whole way through. To find out more information about the course and the book, click the link in the description um, because it will take you to Jess's website where you can actually find out a bit more about this course. I don't wanna give all those secrets away because there's so much in there that 
the only way you can actually get you know get involved with this is, is go and sign up for the course because it is absolutely fantastic i managed to secure a five-figured sponsorship deal through this course like in six weeks like how that like it was mad it was absolute madness but i was actually so grateful of jess's time and offering the course but the most important thing was that like there was genuine value for these sponsors that were signing these deals and it was just incredible to see like the transformation of of myself in six weeks i literally built my whole business built the whole kind of profile the offerings understanding everything building my network and landing myself some sponsorship deals at the end of the six weeks course what happened was that um during the first during the first week i worked on my branding and as you know obviously i've just relaunched my branding and it's absolutely mental like it's i've had such good feedback from you all i'm i'm super super pleased to see my branding kind of there yeah but obviously at the beginning i kind of didn't have the budget to do that i kind of did it on my own so it was okay like it was you know it got me by and i think people that saw it were really impressed because it was fresh and clean and you know, all that kind of stuff but I walked through this course week on week, came back. Each week I set myself goals, tasks, and made sure I achieved them. So by the, the time the next week happened on the next part of the syllabus, we were all sharing our wins and all our success stories. And it was quite, we were all really energized to keep working towards this end goal of becoming a racing driver at the end. Um, some of the guys in the courses were already racing drivers, but they've just now trying to take the next steps up which requires them to look at sponsorships so it was cool to share some tips from them um, because you know I was brand new to this world as a race driver I had no idea how it's going to work I didn't know how good I was going to be I, uh, you know it was it was scary I took you know I took a massive leap of faith that I could make all this work and I'm so grateful I managed to do that so I went through this course and I come out the other side as a racing driver. I went to several businesses, large and small, explained to them what I was offering. Essentially, the, the sponsorship packages I was putting together was focusing on each individual business goal, looking at how I can actually bring value to that company in reward of a sponsorship agreement. And the guys that I spoke to, I had some no's from companies, which is absolutely fine. I learned from them, but the, the sponsors that I took on in 2019 all came on with, with a positive mindset that this would work and trusted me. They took, you know, took faith in me that I could make this work because obviously this is my first year doing it. Yeah, so the, these sponsors took a huge leap of faith in what I was offering. I understood how to offer them the value and how they would receive that value over the course of the, the season. And um, yeah, I was so, I was so, so pleased to sign these agreements and take this role on as a an ambassador or, a, you know, however you want to call it, but working closely with these companies to then help promote them through motorsport and offer them as much value as I could. It was a huge learning curve like learning the business side of motorsport wasn't easy there was there's so much to it from how to get reach in in social media in the press um on tv radio how to actually do that and i was so so nervous about being interviewed and and being on tv and being on radio yeah, people that know me as a child i wasn't actually that that way inclined to be sort of put myself out there like that so all of this kind of world is is very very new yeah i had to kind of learn that quite quickly of how to kind of cope with it and and that's been that's been really really interesting these companies came on board and we all got together and then we went on to design the race car what happened was that once we designed the race car it was really cool to see it on design but i remember seeing the car for the very first time it was just insane like i've always like done livery designs on racing games like i racing and stuff so i'm used to kind of like designing cars and seeing them in a kind of 3d virtual world nothing really actually beat that feeling of seeing our race car for the very first time wrapped in the livery that we did. So my title sponsor for 2019, if you don't know already, is Southeastern Railway. They are the people that I work for. I, I work as a train driver, as a high-speed train driver. We brought them on board as one of the main sponsors because there was a great PR story. High-speed train driver becomes a racing driver and it's kind of living that high-speed life. I'm a massive adrenaline junkie. Like I love petrol, I love fast cars, I love anything that goes. Um, and my job's pretty cool because we drive Britain's fastest train. So that's quite cool. And it's a bit of a childhood dream to, to be able to do that. But now to actually kind of combine that as a racing driver and racing, you know, a proper race car, like it's pretty cool, right? So the PR press story behind that 
um, was that we wrapped the uh, Ginetta in in the same kind of livery as what our train looks like. So it kind of like replicated the kind of southeastern high speed and the actual um, the actual car itself looked like the train. And we did this really really cool um, photo shoot for the press. So again one of the one of the benefits for southeastern was to actually do this press story to put some good news out there of southeastern but also celebrate 10 years of southeastern high speed and so we put this press story together and the pictures look nuts like i'm not one for like kind of being the model i've always done i've been a photographer and been behind the camera but it looked insane like we had the car the Ginetta parked up i was stood in the middle with my race suit on and a helmet and then there was a train just behind us and like it was properly cool light it was a super hot day um but the images came out so so good there's a guy called ad who did the who did the pictures for us he was all over it like he was the, like this is really cool material so i think he was quite excited to be part of this project as well and um yeah we, we launched this story and what happened next was kind of a little bit unexpected i didn't realize quite the impact i had in the railway industry the motorsport industry and the fertility side of things because as soon as that story went out i was getting contacted from all over the country from various people in in all forms of life i then got contacted by the bbc news and my news piece went on to bbc news southeast in the later, later part of the year i was having radio interviews like literally i took this book read the content done the course the six weeks to success course and before i knew it like everything that jess taught me i was putting into action and all of this like amazing stuff was happening for me my sponsors and um, my friends and family like we was all involved in it and, and that's you know we're all together and that's what this is all about is just having the most amazing time together because racing's not just about the racing driver it's about everyone involved and yeah we just literally like went to town and I couldn't believe like the response I got because I just I you know I obviously had this this goal of trying to like make something happen and make it work for everyone but I didn't realize how big it'd blow up. Jess reassured me that it would and she you know she stuck by that I'm onto a really good thing and and how I was approaching it and stuff but I didn't actually imagine all of this kind of great stories this amazingness is that even a word all this great stuff to happen. So yeah that's um that's kind of like it, the basics of what happened like i say the secret to all this success has been this book and and jess's course and i was having a chat with jess actually the other day just kind of like reflecting on 2019 i kind of like to look back on reflection of good times to kind of re-energize things if, if times have been a little bit tricky yeah i was saying to her the other day like she, like this whole process has transformed my mindset my life you know, I I, th I think that's quite an inspiring story because I've come from like not a particularly great place, and I'm now in a really really good headspace. But I'm I'm now in a place where I can confidently benefit sponsors. I'm I'm super energised to work with new and existing sponsors. As, as you've seen already, we've we've just signed three brand new sponsors, and I'm so glad and welcome them on board on Team Team Trice. <laughs> but yeah, like I I can't believe just in just in what how long goes that now maybe 15 months ago 16 months ago i had no clue about sponsorship i went from a stick on a race car mentality to actually running this as a business as a company and seeing my sponsors get live results has just been insane on that note actually i posted a um a blog post uh this week which was which was purple tash's success story i like to find out actually how much sponsors are benefiting from it and i like to actually find out from them and get feedback from them purple tash sent me some figures and it blew my mind like i think one of the figures was 368 percent increase in social reach like that's massive that's huge for any company and to think that what we've done together through motorsport using motorsport as as the you know the vehicle the tool excuse the pun to see a business actually get those live results is his spot on like it's so cool and that's that that really gives me a buzz to see companies get results and then hopefully that means i can then get on track and and get right results myself which then leads them on to get more results and together we all grow and build into this industry together and it's just nuts like motorsport's properly crazy so i've got another little announcement to make as part of um 
the latest sponsorship partnership that's been long time coming all of this kind of story and my energy towards race and mentor has actually led for me to secure a partnership agreement with racing mentor where um, jess shanahan jess always used to say to me that she's open to being pitched to and looking at deals because that's what she teaches she believes in it right so i don't think any racing drivers actually approached her yet so i wanted to be the first one i wanted to be the first one that was like right jess i'm going to learn what you've what you're teaching and i'm going to apply it and go straight to your company and help your business out because i think that would be a really cool return for you i pitched an idea to her a while ago we got working on a partnership deal and myself and Jess have just formed a partnership, which is awesome because now I get to become almost an ambassador for her company and apply what I learn directly to benefit her business, which is awesome, right? That's, that's a pretty cool full circle story. So yeah, we've just formed a partnership and the partnership's all about building up a profile for Racing Mentor as a case study, as I'm a case study for her and I really do want to push out there that, that her stories and her courses, her book is incredible. I genuinely believe that that's, you know, I stand by that. Um, but we've got a really cool announcement for this Tuesday. We are launching our podcast. I'm going to be co-hosting a podcast with Jess Shanahan for the new Racing Mentor podcast. This podcast is quite new to me and I'm new to this YouTube stuff, but now we're actually going on to audio and I'm going to be recording a session with her every week and it's going to be talking about all things sponsorship. So it's going to be very chatty. Um, it's going to be quite a cool, like relaxed podcast. So don't forget to download it on Tuesday. Um, every week it's going to be coming out. I think that's it for this week's vlog. I'm planning on posting a few more episodes a week. Um, I'm not really sure on how often yet but I don't want to be one of these people that vlogs every day and it just gets a bit dull and boring and I don't want to be that person but I want to share with you more and more of my life and things that I get up to because I feel like this is just becoming a bit more of like an interview session obviously when lockdown's over I'll be able to take you guys to a racetrack and show you a bit more about it thank you for staying with me this long I'd really like to know your thoughts on these vlogs so far um, if you've got any burning questions, can you put in the comments any anything you want to hear about from me? Um, if there's anything you want me to cover, then, you know, fire away in the comments and, and let me know. If you've liked this video, please hit the like because it would really help me out because I want to keep pushing this message out there. We've got some, some interesting things happening at the moment on the sponsorship note. So just a quick update from, from the racing program, if you like. Yeah, at the moment, I'm not confirmed to race this season and um, we might be doing a couple of guest rounds at the moment however i'm working on some really really cool things with some really cool new sponsors that could mean that we're on the grid this year but it all depends on what happens with the lockdown because i want to offer the most value to sponsors and if they're not able to come with me on the racetrack and share the experience of being at a racetrack and enjoy all the hospitality and have a nice bite to eat and a glass of wine and enjoy motorsport then I feel like for me it's not really offering them the best value so um, once I get a bit more news from the government motorsport UK then I can put a bit more together for those guys and the value will then come to then hopefully we can secure um, a drive this season so fingers crossed I'm really really hopeful I can't actually tell you what I'm planning to drive this year but let's just say it's a massive massive step up I have been warned that I'm probably taking off or biting a bit more than I can chew, but I love a challenge. And this particular race car really, really excites me. It's, it's a car that I have driven. It's just properly, properly cool. And it suits my style and everything about it. And I feel really confident that I can hit the ground running quite well. Um, I've got a lot to learn. And this car will give me everything I need to learn and develop my skills as a racing driver. So we're aiming for kind of like a two year plan. The plan is to spend this year, hopefully, to learn the car, learn the setup, learn the format um, and get used to all the kind of, you know, the important parts of, of that race car. So then the aim then is to attack the championship next year as hard as we can and Fingers crossed I can become um, a British champion and that and that is like a super, super important goal of mine because 
I think what gives me the determination for that is if I can become a British champion, then I can almost put that as a message to anyone suffering with mental health, anyone that's going through infertility, and anyone going through any hardship in their life, and show them that we are strong together and it represents all the hard work, the fight, the determination to turn my life around. And I hope that inspires others to do exactly that. I don't want to sit on a soapbox and preach to you guys, but genuinely, that would mean the world to me. And it would mean so much to represent the charity and all my sponsors. And we can we can be together and celebrate something really really awesome um and, and raise that awareness for fertility and that and that is my absolute goal like straight in there that is that is exactly it anyway i've waffled too much that's the end of this episode but for now enjoy your week the weather's good at the moment let's hope that stays stay safe let's hope lockdown ends soon and um i'll catch you next thursday if you're watching this and you're a racing driver or an aspiring racing driver, don't forget to grab your copy of Get Paid to Race and we'll see you next week. <laughs> 10 out of 10, it's a great book. I'll see you soon. Tour up.